So today I'll be taking you through some of, through some of my first experiences with the final build, um, preview build of Android 6.0 Marshmallow. Initially, it didn't really seem like much has been done besides the um, normal permissions that have already been done, which if you you can just restrict permissions in apps, and let's say one app is being used too much, and you want to change what it can access, you can edit what it's accessing. See, no, no apps are allowed to access, let's say, camera. And then you can just switch it so it can't access camera or can't access camera. Which is, I think, a pretty cool addition. And I'm not sure if this has always been here, but this is the first time I'm noticing it. You can customize your home screen and get rid of some of those annoying things that are always popping up like Hulu or Google Play Movies. And you can just switch them off. It doesn't look like that much else has really been edited. To show you it's really running um, uh, 6.0. I can just pop down here. Android 6.0. Build MPA44i or 1, I'm not sure. Pops up with M. And it still gives you that annoying little guy shrugging his shoulders. It doesn't look like much else has really been changed. Um, it's a lot less buggy than some of the other builds. But that, that's just about it. Overall, it looks pretty smooth. And some of the things other people have been experiencing, I am not. Like there's a issue with some of the bugs that I've seen people not be able to connect to the internet. I connect fine. I also just recently saw, um, let's see if I can find it, it's in storage, it's in developer, huh, let's see if I can find it, it's a really cool thing, storage, what is this, internal, yeah, you can have external storage and it'll show you now. So I'm going to connect just a quick flash drive, doo doo, flash drive, if I can find one, ah, here's the flash drive. And it should show, see, now it's got removable storage, and it'll show you your new stand disk. See, my the stand disk, just connected it. Let's get that a little bit closer review. Back. And it's got this new setting where you can set it up, format as device storage. How cool is that? So then you can have almost unlimited storage now. You just connect an external hard drive, and now you're not stuck with that um, crappy 8 gigabyte storage that's on the Nexus player. And you can have as much as you want. It's a pretty cool build overall. Some of those um, minute little things that I wouldn't have thought really mattered until now are just making it an absolute blast to use. Um, this is recent build, so none of my apps are on here anymore. But on some of the old app, uh, on my previous build, I had tons of apps that were just, it made the thing worthwhile. You can get ES File Explorer, connect your, um, your uh, USB device. You can connect your USB device, run movies off it um, using Kodi. You can run apps off of it. It is just fantastic. This is PG Tech Tips signing out.